Recursion 1 Array 11. Given an array of integers, compute recursively the number of times that their value 11 appears in the array. We'll use the convention of considering only the part of the array that begins at the given index. In this way, a recursive call can pass index plus 1 to move down the array. The initial call will pass index in well, sorry, we'll pass an index as zero. Okay, so essentially we're just returning the number of times that 11 appears in the array, and we're computing this recursively by iterating through the array. So here we will be returning one because there is one 11 here. Here there are two 11, so we will eventually return two. And here there are no 11, so eventually we will return zero. Okay, so how does this exactly work? Um, I'll show you through a sample case first. Um, Okay, so here I'll just create a random um, sample case. These are just random numbers, it doesn't really matter um, too much what I would have chosen here. Um, okay, so here, um, for example, so these are the nums i values. Um, pardon my handwriting. And then here are the indexes, i represents the index. Okay, um, so first um, we will be given index 0, so we start at index 0, um, and then so this index 0 have, um, represent, sorry, does a number at index 0 equal 11? No, it does not. So we will not be updating the count, we will continue on forward. Um, does the number at index 1 equal 11? No, so we will continue on forward. Does the number at 11, index 2 equal 11? No, so we will continue on forward. At index 3, the number equals 11, so we will be adding 1 to the total number of frequency um, of 11 in the array, and we will continue forward. Here at index 4, 12 does not equal 11, so we will not be updating the frequency. We continue forward. At index 5, the number is 11. 11 is of course 11, so we will be adding 1 to the total frequency of 11s in the array. Next, it's 8. Um, 8 does not equal 11, so we'll not be updating the frequencies um, count. Next is 9. Of course, 9 does not equal 11, so again, we will not be updating it. So in total, we will be re returning 2 because there is 1, 2, 11s in the entire array. Okay, so how does this work recursively? So essentially, what we're doing is iterating through, and what I mean by that is that we're going through from here to here, we're starting at here, and we're continuing on, and just checking if that number, um, the number at that particular index equals 11. In the end, we will just be adding the, up the entire count, and um, yeah, um, we will just be counting that up, and um, that will equal the number of 11s. Okay, so first, um, the base case is if index equals nums.length, and this is the, um, almost always the base case for all recursions um, that are iterating through an array. Um, and the reason why is because nums.length represents the number here which basically means that we've just gone through the entire array already. So if index equals that number, then we're done. Next, um, we will check if nums index equals 11. And if it does, then we will return in 1, because there's one more 11. Plus, um, we will just keep nums, and then we will be continuing on forward. So we will be adding 1 to the index. Um, if the current... Um, number at the index does not equal 11, then we will not need to update the frequency and we will just continue on forward. And so um, there it is, it worked.